What it do, y'all? Tuck season, one third of the trilogy. Y'all know what it is, man. Tuck Rob. Check this out, man. Today is a very important day to me. August 26th is one of the most important days in my life because two years ago, August 26, 2015, I decided I was done with my current situation. My current situation sucked. It was trash and I was through. Um, didn't really have too much of a plan, but I was going to figure it out. Check this out, y'all. August 2000, excuse me, August 26, 2015. I was working two jobs. I was a teacher assistant in the morning. I was waiting tables at night. I was 31 years old. Um, I felt like I was going nowhere. I would go go to work in the morning, leave work, uh, leave work on my way to the other job, stop, stop at Taco Bell, get me a $2 meal deal, sit in the parking lot for an hour, eat, probably take a nap, then go wait tables and go um, serve people who thought they were better than me. I knew I was better than that situation. I knew I was greater than that situation. I had to do something about it. My situation was so jacked up that I would come home at night and baby would already be asleep. We couldn't even spend time together. You, do you hear me? We couldn't even spend time together. She would already be asleep. She'd go to work, come home, do what she need to do, watch a little TV, whatever, whoop, 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 I'm still working. All we had time to do was maybe on the weekends go catch a movie. I was sick of that lifestyle, man. August 26, 2015, I decided I was done, man. I called the, I was coming home. I made like $35 that night or something. And on my way home, I stopped at the corner store to get me a sweet tea. And a thought just hit me. A thought just said, hey, don't go back. You're not going back. So I immediately I immediately text friends that work there and I let them know, hey, man, I'm sorry. Y'all going to have to catch me on Facebook, catch me on Instagram because I'm not coming back to that job. I hate it. And, 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 and as soon as I did that, I felt a release. I felt peace. I was happy. Came home, told baby, hey, this is the last time I'm going to be coming home uh, extra late. Get used to me. So from there, the next morning I woke up, um, I went to work. I called, I went to my regular job in the morning, my teacher assistant job. Then I called my, um, my supervisor at the waiting table job and I told him, Hey, I'm sorry. I'm not coming back. I don't know if it's going to make me look bad. I'm okay with it. I'll live with the decision. If y'all not going to bring me back, that's fine. Cause maybe this door needs to be closed. Cause I don't plan on coming back for me to be greater. I cannot come back to this situation and she got it. She understood it was whatever we move on. And from then, from that point, I had like $7,000 in my retirement account from Harris County when I used to work in Harris County. I could have just let that money stay and grow, but I said, I'll tell you what, man, I'm going to take this money and I'm going to live off of this while I have my first job, while I get into the Texas teacher program, man. Long story short, and I was on the clock. I was on the clock. I had to make it. There was no room for error. I had to make things happen because once that money ran out, I'd have probably had to run back, get another job or do something, whatever. I don't know. But anyway, man, thank God I maximized that situation, man. And I've been teaching since then. And I will tell you this, man, ever since I left that job, I had more time and my situation got better because I started living in my purpose. Once you live in your purpose, you have more peace and you have more freedom to do what you're supposed to be doing. Since I left that job, that was two years ago today, man, two years ago today. I've had time to do a little scholarship fund in my mother's name. I gave away two scholarships, raised money to to um, help kids who were in student lunch debt, help single mothers get sh uh, shoes and and uh, school supplies for their kids. And what else? What else? I did two speaking engagements that I put on. Didn't wait for nobody to book me. I collaborated with some of my partners. I was like, hey, I speak, you do poetry, or I speak, you speak, I speak, you run it, let's do this. So I was able to create my own situation because I had time to, because I had time to. I wasn't waiting tables, uh, dropping off tartar sauce to somebody who think they better than me. 
I had to make the best. Ah, man, I love this, man. This is one of my favorite stories, man. Your situation doesn't have to suck if you don't want it to. Right now, somebody's in a jacked up situation. You have the power to do something about it. You have the power to go in the lab and be like, look, man, my situation sucks. Instead of complaining, what am I going to do to make it better? I did that two years ago, fam. And as a result, I'm on my way to greatness, man. And I've already achieved greatness along the way. I ain't even going to lie to you, man. So I want to tell you that you control your situation. You can make things happen right now, man. This is your time. Get in the lab. Figure it out. August 26, 2017. I'm way better than I was August 26 of 2015. And that's just two years, man. Give me another four years to see where I'm at. But y'all know what it is. Tuck season. H-Town all day.